Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a new series on the channel called Tied and Tested. It's going to be a series basically showcasing some of my newer patterns that may not have appeared on the channel before now, but also showcasing some flies from friends of mine, uh, be they local anglers or from across the world. So I'm hoping it'll bring some value to you and your and your fishing moving forward. It's also going to help me differentiate between my fly tying and also a lot of the new fishing content that I aim to bring to the channel and a lot of the videos that I have been posting of late have essentially been down that route which you've probably picked up on. So this is going to help dif differentiate between those moving forward. So the first pattern I've got coming up is basically it's a dry midge or buzzer pattern primarily designed for fishing on the rivers and actually it's been designed specifically with some fish or some tricky fish that I've faced over the last couple of years that were feeding. I couldn't tap them on my normal midge pattern which if you look above I'll, I'll post a link but for whatever reason they they were really transfixed on the on the adults so the fully hatched version. I've seen this on my home river. I've also seen it in Iceland, actually, where you know, they, they will ignore everything except the adult. So this is, again, a pattern specifically for that, and it worked. So hence why I'm bringing it to you here and bringing it on onto the channel. So it's definitely worth carrying in your armory, uh, and especially if some of your other tied and, tied and tested patterns haven't worked, give this one a go and see if it brings you the, the same luck. Uh, I'm going to show you some of those fish feeding from back in the summer. You'll see them pretty much in a line feeding on the dry midge or dry buzzers. You won't see the flies, essentially they're small. You're talking about 16s to 20s basically in a hook size. But take a look and essentially those were the fish I was presented with. Those fish in that one spot were anything up to 18, 20 inches. So it was worth cracking the code. So the pattern that I'm now going to tie is basically the pattern that I did manage to land a few of, few of those fish on. Really simple pattern as with the majority of my patterns. So I've got a size 16 hook in the vise here and it's the RX FW511 which is just a, a curved dry fly hook. You can basically tie this from a 16 down to a 20, even 22s I guess. but. Um, yeah, 16s, 18s, 20s, probably the main main three you'd be looking for. It's got a 16O Vivas black thread. In fairness, the thread doesn't have any significance with this pattern, so feel free to use whatever you've got loaded up in the bobbin. It's a really simple pattern. Three, four ingredients, as in most of my patterns. Uh, I prefer to spend time on the on the riverbank than at the vice. For the body, I'm using some stripped peacock quills in natural. Now, if you're tying a batch of these, it is worth soaking these quills in water because they can be quite brittle. So just to alleviate that, if you soak them in water first, you tend to uh, get a bit more flexibility out of them basically without them cracking then just bring it up in touching turns and this creates a nat nice natural segmented effect along the body and if you were to study the adults which I am sad enough to do you will see that natural segmented effect on their bodies so this natural fiber does represent that 
perfectly. Bring it up towards the thorax, secure and tie in. Just like that, go back over it slightly. Snip off the excess there. And then we're just gonna put some UV resin over that just to protect that hurl because again, it can be quite a brittle fiber. So I'm just gonna take a, just put a coat over it. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. And it enhances that quill as well in fairness. So it is a dual purpose, but definitely the main purpose is to protect the quill. Just take that over. A lot of this is, you know, if you tie buzzers, you will be doing a lot of this already. Just take that over until you're happy with it. Again, make sure it's evenly distributed all the way around there. Happy with that. And then just give it a blast with the UV torch. Just to, just to cure it. Like so. So that's the body done. Wing. That's going to be some power post. So some power post in white. So this stuff's already treated. So this adds buoyancy. But to be honest, it's uh, it's more probably as a sighter as much as anything as well. So this pattern will lie quite flush on the film surface film you don't need a lot of it and it's a reasonably short wing on this as well so it's going to bring that up like so and probably the length of the body but no more so you don't want to be doesn't need to go essentially the the length of the hook just the length of the body like so, just take it over there. It's perfect. And also without this as a wing, your body would drop under and essentially we're not fishing this as an merger. We are fishing it as, as a dry. The body will still drop under, of course, but it's not gonna like fully kick that hook bend underneath the water surface. So, Hackle is just going to be some grizzle, natural grizzle. Just going to tie that in. Just take that back, just clearing up that thorax section. And then for the thorax, we've got some hens. It's a pretty dark, I think it's called a peacock bronze. So it's number 45, the hen spectra dubbing kind of a dark peacock basically. So we've got that in the thorax. It doesn't need much. Let's take a little pinch of it. And dub it in pretty tight. Like so. Just a couple of turns too much on that so we can pull that off take it back a bit redub that section like so and then brush all of this back just clearing the eye and then we're just going to put two turns in the thorax of this grizzle hackle so one just behind the wing move it through the thorax so you're basically palmering through the thorax and second turn just there. Brush everything back so you're not trapping fibers by the eye. Come in with your thread. Secure that off. A couple of turns. Pull it down. Pull all of those fibers back. And then just come back over that hackle stalk just to give it a really secure finish. And then bring in your whip finish. Again, just brush anything back. 
three turns. Pull it down and snip it off. Snip off as a little straight fibre there, snip that off and then come in and snip your hackle off. So that is basically the pattern. What I then do just underneath, I come in with the scissors just to get it resting. It's looking to rest pretty high in the water but I want to make sure that it's sitting in the position that I want it to sit. And that is basically the pattern. It's a really simple Really simple little pattern. Definitely worth you making a few. And if you're caught in the same predicament as I was, then at least you have something to, to throw at them. Again, it's worked for me, so I'm hoping it'll work for you. That's the pattern finished with.